A seismic shift is underway, and there is a world coming that you must understand if you don't want to be left behind. There is an emerging technology that I believe will impact the lives of each and every one of you in this room, the same way that the internet took the world by storm in the 90s. Imagine a world where trust is inherent in every digital transaction, where transparency is the norm, and where power is decentralized. This technology is here, and it's called blockchain. So what is blockchain, you ask? It's a decentralized database that maintains a ledger of transactions and assets on a peer-to-peer -peer network. And if you're not a computer or accounting nerd, it's a fancy record-keeping system that operates on a network of computers all around the world that everyone has a copy of and can verify. The word blockchain itself is made up of two parts, block and chain. Each transaction or batch of data is grouped into what's called a block that is then securely linked to the previous block using the highest level of cryptography, forming an unalterable chain of information. So block plus chain equals blockchain. A simple analogy for how the blockchain operates is how a Google Docs document works. When you create a Google Doc and share it with your colleagues, that document is distributed, not copied or transferred. All modifications to that document are being recorded in real time making changes completely transparent. Now, a notable difference between the blockchain and Google Docs, however, is that data on the blockchain cannot be modified once recorded, which establishes trust, accountability, and transparency. These digital ledgers can be programmed to record and keep track of not only financial transactions, but also virtually everything of value from currencies and real estate deeds and stocks and bonds to things like loyalty points, intellectual property, inventory, and much more. So now that I've bored you with the techie stuff, why should you care? What is it being used for? Well, one of the most remarkable aspects of the blockchain is its ability to decentralize power, much like the internet was able to decentralize information. See, in the past, if you wanted to get your message out or hear what was going on in the world, you could only go through a handful of privately owned TV stations or newspapers. But the internet changed this, removing those single points of communication and decentralizing the media. Now anyone, anywhere in the world, can share and exchange information with nothing more than an internet connection. So where does blockchain come in? Well, traditionally, intermediaries such as banks and governments and private corporations have held significant control over our transactions and data. But blockchain disrupts this centralized model, giving the power back to the people. We can eliminate the need for these intermediaries by relying on blockchains and smart contracts. All right, one more techie explanation for you. A smart contract is computer code written on a blockchain that automatically executes, controls, or documents different events or actions. These contracts automate processes, remove human error, and eliminate the need for intermediaries, all while ensuring transparency and trust. The simplest comparison I could give you to a smart contract would be like a vending machine. I make my payment, select the item I'd like to buy, and the machine is programmed to spit me out my Diet Coke. There's no middleman or small talk required, just code, doing what it's told. The potential applications of blockchain technology and smart contracts are vast and can impact almost every industry we interact with on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's explore some of the ways that blockchain is already making its mark across various industries. Now, many of you may have only ever heard of blockchain in relation to cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Blockchain is the underlying technology behind most cryptocurrencies. But we can think of the blockchain as like the iPhone and cryptocurrency as just one application on the iPhone. When it comes to finance and payments, cryptocurrency is the first public digital payments infrastructure. It enables faster, more secure, and cost-effective transactions. Users can self-custody their assets, and anyone, anywhere in the world, can create a cryptocurrency wallet for free with nothing more than an internet connection to send and receive digital currencies. 
This eliminates the need to trust the banks that are falling like dominoes and the payment processors that nickel and dime every transaction we make. And using smart contracts, we now have trustless, peer-to-peer -peer trading and borrowing and lending and a host of other traditional financial services that historically we've only ever been able to access through these middlemen like banks and brokerages. Cryptocurrencies have grown from digital novelties to a trillion dollar asset class with the potential to disrupt the global financial system, which is why countries like El Salvador and the Central African Republic have declared Bitcoin as legal tender. But it's not just countries with a weak currency that see the value. In 2022, Colorado began accepting Bitcoin for tax payments. Presently, there are several active presidential candidates using cryptocurrencies to efficiently crowdfund their campaigns. And the United States Federal Reserve is currently exploring blockchain technology and cryptocurrency in an effort to update antiquated payment rails like the SWIFT network. I get it. Many picture a George Orwell 1984-esque dystopian society when they hear government and cryptocurrencies. But the reality is, with the applications of this technology, we can create a new equitable financial system that is sound, open, transparent, and accessible to everyone, regardless of their location or financial status. Take my company, for example. We presently have employees on payroll in three different countries, the United States, Panama, and Australia. Using cryptocurrencies, we pay all of our employees at the same time in the same currency. They receive it in seconds, and it only costs us a couple of pennies. There's no banks, payment processors, or virtually any settlement time needed. That is public global payments infrastructure at work. But enough about money. What else can it be used for? Well, in healthcare, blockchain enhances the privacy and security of patient data, facilitates interoperability between healthcare providers, and ensures fraud prevention. In governance, blockchain enables transparent and tamper-proof voting systems, ensuring fair and auditable elections. And in supply chain, blockchain enhances the transparency and traceability of products, combating counterfeit goods and ensuring ethical sourcing. I was recently at a conference speaking with some executives from Rolex where we were discussing the counterfeit watch market and how proof of ownership on the blockchain can help to combat this. See, if I wanted to buy a used Rolex from you, you'd likely hand me the watch in a nice little box with a piece of paper that says, yep, this is, in fact, a Rolex. But that's easy to counterfeit, and it's happening at an alarming pace in many secondary markets like timepieces and art. If instead, once the watch was manufactured, a non-fungible token was issued and ownership was transferred throughout the life cycle of the watch, rather than a physical piece of paper, it will be a unique, irrefutable proof of ownership forever recorded on the blockchain. It would be tamper, fraud, and coffee spill proof. We are at a juncture where the old system gives way to an era of innovation, decentralization, and boundless possibilities. But while blockchain offers tremendous potential, I'd be remiss to not address some of its challenges. Scalability, energy consumption, and regulatory concerns are among some of the key hurdles that need to be overcome, along with the Wild West nature of the space presently due to its lack of regulation. With regards to cryptocurrency specifically, this is an extremely young and volatile asset class with a lot of growing up to do. I mean, to put it into perspective, the current market cap of all cryptocurrencies, a global asset class, mind you, is about a trillion dollars. The current market cap of Apple is $3 trillion. I believe that sensible regulation will open up the floodgates to institutional money and advancements in blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies. Many publicly traded companies still shy from the space in fear of persecution from the SEC and FTC and all the other scary three-letter government offices. But researchers and innovators are actively working to address these concerns and educate the right people, making it a viable solution for widespread adoption across all industries. It's not perfect yet. But the remarkable thing about emerging technology is its ability to evolve and improve. 
I believe that the future of blockchain holds immense promise, but education and awareness will play a crucial role in fostering trust and understanding of this transformative technology. By embracing blockchain, we can redefine the way that we conduct business and govern our societies and interact with technology. Together, we can shape a future that is built on trust, transparency, and individual empowerment. So welcome to the dawn of a new financial era where the rules are rewritten, the barriers are shattered, and the future is now. I challenge you all to think about this. As we've seen with other emerging technologies, history doesn't often repeat itself, but it often rhymes. And if there's a lesson that we can take from these prior breakthroughs, it's that you should never bet against a technology that is more convenient, accessible, and empowering than what's presently available. So this time around, will you be a spectator or a participant in change? Thank you.